J.J. Arms was born in Isleta on August 12, 1932. At age 11, his hands were blown off playing with explosives. His signature prosthetic hooks did not slow him down. In fact, they became his calling card. In 1958, Arms opened The Investigators, a private investigation company on Montana Street. His most famous case was the rescue of Marlon Brando's son, who had been kidnapped in Mexico. His James Bond-like flash and style is credited for inspiring the 1975 Charles Bronson film Breakout after Arms used a helicopter in a wild Mexican jailbreak operation. Hollywood took notice. Arms played the villain in the Hawaii Five-O episode Hookman, which premiered September of 1973. In 75, People magazine named Arms one of the 25 most intriguing people of the year. But after 63 years of private investigation, five children, and six grandchildren, it was time to sell his famous and very extravagant estate. I remember it well. It was 1996, and it was in Juarez, Mexico, and I was in a nightclub, and there was a booth in the corner, and sitting in the middle of the booth was this international man of mystery, surrounded by, I believe, the most beautiful women I've ever seen, bodyguards on each side. I, I n asked the person next to me, who is this man? This incredible man, this El Paso legend, is sitting with me right now. J.J. Arms, probably the only person in El Paso that has his own action figure. I'm pretty sure about that. That's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Jay, thank you for letting us into your home today. And I want to talk to you a little bit about, I, I got to clear the air. Marlon Brando's son, legitimately kidnapped? Or was this a teenager that was just, uh, you know, wanted to get away from dad and want to get a little attention? No, he was a, um, a kid that was kidnapped, really. And they, um, uh, they ran a, a ransom demand of uh, five million dollars. Five? And at that time, five million dollars was a lot of money. So, Brando uh, called me. He was filming The Last Tango in Paris. And he called me from there. Jay says, my son has been kidnapped. And I, I'm about to finish the, the Last Tango in Paris. He says, now be up there. And I've called the FBI to no avail. I've called the police department. They, they don't know anything. And uh, so uh, I know you can find my boy. I'll be, I'll be in the uh, United States uh, in a week. And uh, I've got some pictures that I'll take you uh, so that uh, and some information. So, and you found him before the pictures arrived? I found him in five days. Wow. Now, let me ask you a question, Jay. Uh, this is a beautiful mansion. You said it has 10 bedrooms. Yes. I'm not sure who needs 10 bedrooms, but at the time, you had a growing family. Now, a family, you've been in dangerous situations. You've dealt with dangerous clients. That's you've right. had dangerous opponents. That's right. But you had a family. You had five children, and at the time you moved in here, you had two children and more coming. You needed a place just right. Right, and I built it the way I wanted it. Uh, it uh, had a, a 15 foot uh, deep, uh, a, a beautiful lake that I built in the back. And I had to buy all the real estate around me. You bought a whole block? I bought a whole block. I bought five houses and, uh, and I knocked them down. So, Jay, even before the Brando case, which was probably your most famous case, um, things were going well in the private investigation business. Obviously, it would take some money to be able to buy up a, an entire block. Uh, you needed something also very secure. Talk about that. Well, I uh, had my kids went going to school, um, and um, uh, I had bodyguards for them while they were in school and uh, uh, they were chauffeur driver, driven in my limousine that's in the garage now. Uh, 
So uh, Jay was my oldest boy, and um, he would tell the chauffeur uh, that me off about half a block from school because he was embarrassed. <laughs> every, every, when they took him right to the school, the whole school went up to, to the limo and started <laughs> uh, having a good time. Jay, you'd mentioned that you had to have security here for your family. Of course, they had to be chauffeured to school and they had real bodyguards around them. They did. You designed this house in such a way that it was pretty much a fortress. Can you talk about that? Yes. <laughs> I had my, my whole uh, estate secured by a wired 20,000 volts of, of uh, electricity because I had a lot of animals here. I had every type of animal from a, a baby elephant to uh, uh, ostriches. Well, Jay, when we come back, we're going to talk more about this amazing estate. You had to have those big gates out front, not only to protect your family, but to protect people from accidentally coming into a lion's den, literally. More on that coming up in just a bit.